An absolutely historic night for Shohei Otani last night in Miami. He went down and we he finally did it. Thing we've been talking about forever and ever and ever. Shohei Otani becomes the first 50-50 man. Um, 20 some odd years ago, Jose Canseco started the first 40-40 club member ever. And this man now has gone out and absolutely demolished it killed it broke it it's incredible he is 51 and 51 already like 50 50 wasn't good enough now he's 51 and 51 Shohei Otani it becomes just historic all in one night we're going to get into all those facts and all that stuff um the amount of different things that he did in one single evening is actually just mind-blowing James what is your like first initial reaction to Shohei my initial reaction is that I am the world's foremost authority in baseball now, that I am a super genius, and that every single team in Major League Baseball ought to employ me as a scout because I called it in 2016 before he was even here. But uh, patting myself on the back aside, the guy's a freak. I've never seen anything like it. I can't imagine I never thought that 50-50 was possible. You know, you talk about 40-40, you know, back in the day, guys were doing it in 160 games, 155 games. You're like, ah, nobody can do that because they don't have enough time. This guy, if he went on a crazy tear, he could go 55-55. I don't think 60-60 is possible, but 55-55 is very possible. But I'm still in awe of the man. Absolutely not, the man. It is. I, I don't know what's not possible. I, here's the problem is um, next year when he's pitching and he's going out there and doing his normal pitching thing, 50-50 is pretty much impossible at that point because he's just not, he's going to be missing too many of those starts, too many of those games. He's not going to be on – He's not going to be hitting. So that's kind of a, a pretty neat thing to see, to see the guy who's rehabbing from Tommy John surgery hitting 50-50 uh, when he decides to just kind of focus on hitting. Like, oh, I'll just uh, I'll just do something absolutely historic. Uh, one of my favorite things I saw of what he did last night is when he hit the 50th home run, which which went into left field and, and went into the stands. And by the way, guy one guy just totally missed it. He had it. He had it in his hands. He had two shots at it, too. He missed it. Um, he turned around and looked straight at his teammates. And that, to me, meant the world. And that, to me, tells me everything I need to know about him as a teammate. As a man, the first thing he wanted to do was celebrate with his teammates. And he could not wait to go in and kind of do his little celebration dances with every every one of his guys. Um, just that's what I love about him. Have you, have you seen a superstar that seems to generate that type of love from his teammates? generate that kind of love from his teammates you kind of put me on the spot i know i know everybody loves aaron judge in that yankees clubhouse so i would probably say aaron judge could be that guy but off the top of my head i can't think of anybody other than judge that is just so beloved by the rest of his teammates do you are you disappointed that this was done in miami in front of fifteen thousand people um not a showcase game by any means, not at home at Dodger Stadium, a game that means that really kind of nothing across the board against an opponent that no one else is watching. So it's really just Otani. Do you wish it would have been in Dodger Stadium or another venue? I'm going to say no for two reasons. Number one, it proves to everybody that baseball in Miami cannot exist because they are perennial losers and they never get anybody in that stadium. So just move the team. I'm so tired of the Marlins. But most importantly, I like the fact that it was an East Coast game because the entire country got to see it. If it happened at 11 o'clock at night, half the people in New York, half the people in Boston, they'd be asleep. They wouldn't know until, you know, the, the day after. I like the fact that it was on the East Coast and people could get excited. 11 o'clock at night would have been generous. That's actually would have been about 1 a.m. So you think about, you know, if it's a nine, let's let's call let's say Oshohei does it at 930, right? Is, is probably right. the equivalent, right? So you're looking at 1230 um, on the East Coast, right? I got that. Yeah, 1230 on the East Coast. And, and yeah, you miss you miss half of ba- the baseball world that doesn't get to see it. So I'll, I'll give you that. I, I do like that. I do wish it would have been home in front of the fans, but Miami, come on. And from a greed standpoint, I'm happy that it happened on the East Coast because then I didn't have to get texts from our producer, Alex, at 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you guys got to do a Otani video. 
<laughs> yeah, yes, that does help a little bit. But hey, man, when it's Otani, you make the video. When you got to make the video, you make the video. So Otani is the absolute man. This is an insane. So let's get through a couple things. One, if you are, if you catch the ball, what are you asking for? Do you give it up, or do you do you go to like? What do you do with the baseball? You know me. Do you think there's any chance oh, that I'm giving up a million that. dollar baseball? No, that's, that, it was a it was a question for the fans. Not oh, okay. really. Yeah, I know your answer. I'm giving the ball. I'm giving the ball, dude. I'm getting a jersey. I'm getting something. Here's what I would have asked for. I would have said Shohei. Hey, I, I respect the game too much. I, I, I would have done this as a fan. I would do this I, until the day I die, whether I played Major League Baseball or not, because I respect what happens on the field happens on the field. If it comes to me, that is that that it is mine. But at the end of the day, it was your achievement. And I am not going to have to – I'm not going to financially benefit on that level from your achievement. When I negotiate with the Dodgers, I negotiate with Shohei separately. Two separate negotiations. And I say, Dodgers, I, w- I want some tickets. Give me some season tickets. I want, I want two. It's two season tickets for me and my boy to love baseball. We'll make this a PR thing. Make it PR. Like say you, you, you're going to give it to my son. Two tickets to my son. And then second, I want something from the game. Batting hmm. gloves. One batting glove. A shoe. Um, you're not going to get the bat. Maybe his hat. Said game used hat from today. Because this is a sort of moment from today and from your career. Something. Your 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 shit your elbow guard. Dude, dude the elbow guard would have been fucking that's that's incredible. That would have been so cool. Okay, let me stop you there because you are not allowed to negotiate anymore. I'll tell you what David Ardsma would get if he allowed me to negotiate it. Number one, I go to this to the Los Angeles Dodgers and I tell them Guys, you want this ball, it's going to cost you. Your new I want you to meet your new bullpen coach. That's right. David Ardsma, the new bullpen coach of the Los Angeles Dodgers. I also want to introduce you to your new <laughs> assistant GM, Mr. James Gulidianos, because guess what? He has a high baseball IQ. So that's two. Number three. Five tickets for life to Dodger Stadium, any game you want to go to. That's what you negotiate with the Dodgers. Then you go to Otani. You beautiful. get, yeah, you get autographs. You get a piece of equipment, whether it's his hat, his batting gloves, his shoe. I want the shoe, FYI. Uh, and that's how you make a deal. Because this whole, oh, I want a batting glove. I want something from the field. No, 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 no. You take advantage uh, of it. Too. You go for the gusto. You yeah. get the jobs, baby. So that's the difference. And that's the difference. You trying to take advantage of it. And that to me, no, man. This ain't my achievement, brother. I just happen to be standing in the right place at the right time. This is your achievement. And that's th- that doesn't sit right to me. This is your achievement, <laughs> Shohei. This is not mine, and I am not going to take advantage. But the, the Hall of Fame is going to be getting all that stuff. Is we getting everything? They're they're getting they're getting one thing specifically is his cleats, which I absolutely love. James, did you see his cleats? Come on, it's a shoe. You think I missed a shoe? Of yeah, course his I dog should. decoy is on the New Balance cleats. How cool is that? I love it. I couldn't have not couldn't have been any better. There's no way you 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 do the cleats better for that game with how the dog is taking over center stage uh, in Shohei's life and Dodgers life and bobblehead. I mean, this is absolutely so cool. Um, that that game. Okay, Shohei is six for six for in the game. Three home runs, two stolen bases, two doubles. He had ten RBIs, seventeen total bases in that game not only did all that thing happen about Shohei and and he just stayed in the game because the Dodgers didn't have anybody else on the bench while uh, uh, Mookie's out Freddie's out all that stuff no one else on the bench he goes out secures a playoff spot for the Dodgers that day they 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 locked in the playoffs which which again he said was which is just as cool as as the feed of 50 50 that that's that tells me what type of man he is type of teammate he is um he also broke the dodgers record for most home runs in one season which is which is amazing sean green was 49 he not only got 50 tied him 49 50 and 51 all in one day um which one of those things kind of jump out at you that, that means probably the most to him or the Dodgers? 
I don't know what kind of guy Shohei is. You know, from all the stuff that we've heard, he's a very selfless guy. So for him, he was probably so happy to make the playoffs for the first time in his in his career. But for me, it's all about personal glory. I love the 50 home runs and the 50 stolen bases. It's all about me, 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 me. I think it's incredible that we're going to finally see Shohei in the playoffs. This is something that baseball has been missing. The world has been missing. Um, Dodgers viewership is going to go through the absolute roof once he goes in the playoffs, especially from an Asia market standpoint. Like Major League Baseball, just you need a channel in Japan. I don't know what they have. I don't know what they're doing, but the Dodgers need a channel in Japan dedicated to all this and just reap the benefits, reap all the money and um which is they they absolutely need that to happen. A um, couple other fun stats here: 17 total bases, which is just absolutely insane. This is like little league numbers here. Um, that is the 17th most all time. Okay. Um, and you realize he he did more no, yesterday. Sorry. No, no, that is the 17th. He's tied. He's the 17th player to ever have 17 total bases, and that's the fourth most all time. I have that written down. Bad hand. Dude, I can't write. You even read my handwriting. That is so bad. Um, he is the first player of all time to have three home runs and multiple and a multiple steal game. Okay. And 43, 43 is the highest combined number. Um, for the the forty forty club now now he's been so far past that. Um, I got a couple other fun stats for you. Okay, this is pretty this is pretty incredible. So in a player's career, in an entire career, okay, no player has ever done this. In an entire career, had a game with ten RBIs, and then had a separate game with six plus hits. Then had a separate game with six um, extra base hits. Sorry, five extra ba- five extra base hits, and had a separate game with three home runs, and had a separate game with two stolen bases. No players had an entire career where they had just one random game with ten RBIs, and then another game with with six extra six hits, and then another game with five extra base hits. He did all of those things in one single game, one single game where entire careers. It says nineteen whatever twenty when they actually started officially becoming RBI became a stat. 1920, they, they've, it, this is absolutely insane. He did more in that one game than DJ LeMayhew has done all year. Fact. It's, Fact. It, it's insane. I'm just, I'm constantly, I'm just at a loss. I, what was the text that I sent you last night? Simply put, I said, uh, I don't care what God, anybody David, says. You're, you're beautiful. Which one? Okay, oh, forget sorry. about that. I said, I don't care what anybody says. This is the greatest baseball player in the history of the world. You, you can bring up Bonds on this. He, he, he's on a streak. He's on a run to be the greatest baseball player in the history of the world. The thing about it, which is which is absolutely nuts. Okay. And this is, I'm going to pull this up here while I'm uh, stalling and while I'm just kind of doing this and, and talking about nothing, which is pretty crazy. I can do this uh, while just kind of, just kind of BSing a little bit. Um, you can also walk the, and chew gum at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Um, so the, the crazy thing about the, the year Otani's having. Right, so the 50-50 is absolutely is nuts. The numbers are, are insane. The numbers, the, the things he's able to do every single game is insane. He has an OPS this year uh, right at a thousand. Okay, which is great, which is an absolute insane number. And I was looking at it. He has an OPS plus, which which tells you how do you compare to your league? How do you compare to the average player in the league of like 176 or something like that? I'm a little off on the numbers. That's what I was looking at yesterday before the game. Before he, he did the 50 home runs. Op, uh, Barry Bonds had an OPS plus of 268, 231, 263, 259, 206, 204. He's had like six seasons, seven, eight seasons with a better, better OPS plus, which is which, which is pretty standard number across the board and, and against your competition. And his OPS of 1,000 for Barry Bonds would have um, ranked... Ninth in Barry Bonds' career. Ninth. Right, and I under- Otani's greatest season would have ranked ninth in Barry Bonds' career. And I understand all of that. And I'm not taking anything away from Barroyd. But at the end of the day, Barry can't pitch. And Barry can't run. He can't run the way that Otani does. 
And he, no, he did. Because he, there was he multiple did. seasons where he had 40, 31, 39, 43, 52. Um, so let, let's pump the brakes on the, the, the can't run part. And a bunch of uh, rules had to be changed for Otani to be able to run like this. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm right? not going to deny that. Let's be honest, too. Two guys in two years are part of the 4040 club. All of a sudden, like, bam, and, and the snap of the fingers, Major League Baseball said, hey, we want more right. action. And we got it. And guess what we're talking about? We're not talking about Major League Baseball changing the rules. We're not talking about the bases getting closer and so the pitchers can't pick off more than two times. You know, and, and basically it, it's a free-for-all to get to second base. I, I love it, and I don't want to throw a wet blanket over this, but like, let's not let's not forget. There's guys that did this, did a lot of great things without having to have these rules changed. But they still can't pitch, and they still can't pitch. I will give you that. And it's right now, Otani can't pitch. Okay, you want to tell me? You want to tell me that? Uh, you, if you want to tell me that Otani isn't the greatest player of all time yet, I will take that. But in my eyes, he's by far the most talented player who has ever played the game. Not even close. Not even close. And, and here's the thing. When we talk about uh, Neon Deion Sanders, when we talk about Ryan Jordan, we talk about um, uh, Bo Jackson, right? These are the baseball players. These are players that transcended the game and played multi-sport, multi-game. Uh, Kenny Lofton in college, but it's not the same. Um, these these guys transcended just baseball and played multi sports and did great. Bo Jackson, the the greatest of all time. We put Bo Jackson on this pedestal of like the best, could have been the best baseball player, could have been the best football player. Got hurt and, and just what he was able to do. Shohei is absolutely dominating both facets of the game. That is that is Bo Jackson being a running back and then being a linebacker and playing every down and just dominating the football game every day. That's what Shohei can do. He can dominate this game in, in multiple facets. To me, and I will completely agree with you, he is the most talented baseball player to ever play. And he has the chance to become the greatest player of all time. And it's and to me, that chance is not that far away. He just has to go out and still be healthy as a pitcher and be healthy as a hitter. That's it. I don't want to rehash everything that we've said about Otani over and over and over. Yes, he's the best. This is what I want to leave this uh, show with. Think about the mental fortitude that Shohei Otani has being in the second biggest market in the country and being able to do this, that kind of pressure. But more importantly, think about the investigation that he had to go through in the beginning of the season with the gambling allegations. That would turn other players' seasons into shit. This guy did it, and he didn't skip a beat. Absolutely. And and, and, I, st- and I still see those tweets out there. Still people see talking about the investigation and all this stuff. Go F yourself with that. And, and I'm sorry, you just want to hate so bad so bad and not open your eyes to what the investigation was and, and i'm sorry so had nothing to do with it but the amount of stuff he's gone through the, the ability to be able to stay on top like this and never be connected to that stuff is absolutely insane and to me shohei keep going man don't stop the, the, the only thing he can do to top this right now is put a world series ring on his finger that's how you top a season like this. That's how you. That's the ice on icing on the cake, the cherry on top of the sundae. You need that ring to for us to be able to sit back and go, was there a better year? Because that's the only thing really stopping him, right? Th- to be able to say, was there a better year in baseball for my player? Because that's where we go to the 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 Barry the the Barry Bonds thing is always stopped at the World Series ring, and Babe Ruth. That, that's the one thing. Like he had these years and he finished it off with the World Series. We talk about Mickey Mantle and stuff like that. Some of these years, some of these great players had. They just couldn't finish it off with that ring. Like incredible years of baseball players in that 01 a Mariners team. One of the best baseball teams of all time. Couldn't finish it. And so finish it for us, Otani. Finish it for us. Give us that ring. And so we at the end of the day, at the end of the year, we can say, they, I don't know if anybody's had a better year than this.